Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I wanna talk about the most common questions people have when it comes to stock call options and put options. As a fellow beginner investor myself, I had to do a lot of research to familiarize myself with what is a stock option, what's a call, what's a put. I did all the research and I went to multiple sources, compiled all my questions and answers just for you guys. But before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Max. I do amateur investor videos. I did a video on how to value any stock. I did a video on how to find the best index fund. And lastly, I do videos on me reacting to the madness that goes on in Wall Street bets. However, if you have seen my videos before and you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button because even if one person subscribes per video, I find that extremely inspiring to make more and more videos. All right, so into the meat. Now, when I was learning about puts and calls and all the different options and all the different categories, I had so many questions. I made sure to write them down and we'll go over all of them in this video today. Now, we're gonna categorize the questions into two scenarios. Scenario one is gonna be, what should you do if you think the stock price will be going up? Scenario two, is what should you do if you think the stock price will be moving down? And there's a third scenario where the stock price remains fairly flat. However, majority of the time, the stocks will go up or down. They will float around a little bit, but that all depends on your expiration date. And if you wanna learn more about that special case where the stock price remains flat, comment down below and I'll be sure to make a video for you guys. So in scenario one, where you think the stock price will end up going up in the future, you want to buy what's called a call option or you want to sell a put. However, we'll get into the differences between the two. Now, starting with a call option, your first question may be, what's a call option? A call gives you the right to buy 100 shares for a premium at a specific strike price by a set expiration date. And what that means is you will profit if the stock ends up going up and you will lose your premium you paid if the stock ends up going down below the strike price by that set expiration date. So the next question you may have is what is a strike price? So a strike price is a known price that you agree to buy the shares for if you choose to exercise that option. And the known strike price can actually help you mitigate the risk of your investment. So how can a call option help lower your risk of investment? So for every option, you pay a premium. So you pay a premium because we don't really know what's gonna happen in the future. If the stock ends up going to infinity, then you're still gonna be paying that strike price. So let's say at a time you didn't have enough money in your trading account and you wanted to buy a call. So you buy a call for a set price, that strike price, and in the future, let's say the stock price ends up moving higher, you can exercise your option and buy the stock at that strike price. And at that time, you already have money into your account. So you don't have to end up paying more for the stock that you actually was expecting to move further up anyway. Additionally, if the stock ends up going to infinity, you will still buy it at the exact strike price that you formed a deal. This is sort of an insurance and lowering risk will even have a bigger impact when we get to scenario two, where we discuss what you should do when you think the stock price will be moving down. By now, you might be wondering, so what's the catch? I purchased at a set strike price. In the future, I know the stock's gonna move higher and I can just buy it at my strike price versus the higher stock price, right? Well, it's not that simple. When we first defined what a call option is, we said that it is the right to buy at a strike price for a premium by a set date. What that means is you have an expiration date. So let's say your stock option ends up expiring and this can happen within a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or even years. Let's say your options expire. Well, the premium that you paid for it, you're gonna lose completely your option will expire worthless. So you end up losing your premium. And that is a big downside to what we call options. The further out into the future you go, let's say it's in years, the higher the premium you'll be paying because the investor on the other side 
understands that there's higher chances that they'll probably have to end up purchasing the stock. So they have to offset it with a bigger premium that you will need to pay. And therefore, when considering the purchase of a call option, you always have to consider the premium to determine your actual rate of return. So let's say that you believe stock A will go to $10 in the future. You can get it at a strike price of $8. It's currently trading at $9. And for this, they would like a premium of $3. What this means is that in the future, if the stock price ends up going to $10 like you thought, you'll actually be losing a dollar because of your premium, which was $3. The current price of the stock, which was $8, plus the premium, which is $3, should be the target price of that stock in the future for you to actually even break even. So the stock will actually need to move even past that to $12, $13 for you to actually make a profit. And all of this happens at a quantity of 100 because options are always traded at no less than 100. Well, by now you might be wondering, does selling a put give you more upside? Because you can collect that sweet, sweet premium with no downside, right? Well, not quite. The truth is selling puts does not give you any more upside. What actually ends up happening is you earn a premium upfront, but then you have unlimited loss potential. Let's say that a stock price ends up moving towards infinity. Of course, this won't happen, but let's say it was at $50 and then it jumped to $100 and somebody decided to exercise that option. What you'll have to do is actually eat the loss of that difference. You'll be paying a hundred dollars and then selling it to the person that you made the contract with for $50. So you're going to be losing a lot of money if that case scenario happens. And because you might get stuck with an unfavorable price in the future to actually buy the stock, this is why those people are being paid a premium for what they're doing, which is selling these options to you. Now, looking at scenario two, what if you think the stock price will actually be moving down in the future? In short, this is completely opposite of the first scenario. For example, let's say that you believe a company will lose its revenue potential and in the future will not make the same amount of money. Well, you end up buying a put for a specific strike price, just like you would do a call. But in this case, if the stock price ends up moving below that strike price, your profit is the difference between the two minus the cost of the premium that you paid for this option. So do puts have infinite profit potential like calls do? No, they don't. Because the stock price will never actually end up going below zero. Meanwhile, a stock price could theoretically go to infinity. That's also not possible, but there's always more upside than there is downside. However, the closer that it gets to zero, the more money you'll actually end up making. Previously, I mentioned that a put option can actually offset a lot of your investment risks. So what did I exactly mean by that? Let's look at it right now. So what I meant by that is, let's say you bought a put for a specific strike price. And let's say if somehow Redditors and their diamond hands end up sending the stock to the moon, the worst that can actually happen is you just lose the premium that you paid for that stock. And if you already own the stock, a put can actually offset the losses that you might be experiencing from a stock that is doing poorly. Can you also sell a call like you can sell a put? Of course you can, but just like before, your loss potential is actually unlimited. Meanwhile, you stand to gain only the premium. Additionally, you need to have enough cash on hand to actually end up purchasing those stocks for somebody else in the case that the stock price ends up moving up higher, they end up exercising the option, in which case you'll actually have to take that money, purchase the stock for the price that is actually set by the demand, and you'll have to just give it to the person that you made the contract with at a significant loss. And this is exactly why those people earn a premium. 
they're taking on a big risk and that's why a premium is their reward for it. Getting out of the categories, a common question that might happen is, can you actually get rid of your call option or a put option prior to the expiration date? And if you live in Canada or the US, the answer is yes. You can actually get rid of your option before the expiration date. So let's say you don't have the money to buy 100 shares of the company to host option call you purchase, you can actually sell it back for an immediate profit where somebody else who is interested in getting that option will pick it up and they'll actually end up exercising that option. That's why when you go on an app and you actually look at strike price and all the information there, they'll actually give you a percentage of the total return that they're currently experiencing. Okay, so to summarize, here are four factors that you need to consider before buying an option. Number one, the strike price, the price at which you'll be buying the option if you choose to exercise it in the future. Number two, the expiration date. The more time there is for the option to expire, the higher the premium, and the less time there is for the option to expire, the lower the premium, but the higher risk. Number three, the premium, which you have to always consider when thinking about your return. It always has to be added in to your calculations. Number four, profit. Now this will depend whether it's a call or a put, but it's the difference between the strike price and the current price minus the premium that you ended up paying for the option. And a bonus number five, what happens if you demolish that like button? In this case, YouTube will be more likely to share this video with other people helping them learn too. That completely concludes all the questions that I had. If you have any additional questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.